did it too early. Yeah, don't do that. We can't do that. Hello. Hey. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm Stepan, and he is Rec. And we are right outside the theater where we are going to see the new hit, Suicide Squad. We're going to hope we see it in our hour. 30 minutes, I mean. And uh, hopefully enjoy it. Looks like a good movie. Some reviews have been a little bit ups and down, but we're going to go see it pretty soon here. We'll see y'all later. I'm going to go for the tickets. I actually have the tickets, so... Um... <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Keep it cool. Hands up. Hey, everyone. It's Seven Rec here. I'm Seven, and he's Rec. I'm Rec. I get Rec every week. Yes. Except that hasn't been happening recently. So we just came back from the movie theater, a different movie theater, because we went to go see Suicide Squad again the next morning. So that's why we have different shirts on. We needed to go see it a second time to get a proper opinion, develop our mindset on what we thought about the movie. And uh, it was pretty good. Good movie. It's a good movie. Uh, a lot of fun. And, uh, but it kept that dark edge to it, which was nice for DC to do. The only problem with our movie, with our, the our movie, movie. It was we made it? it? Yes, we did. We're going to the big leagues. <laughs> um, the only problem with the movie is that the editing a little bit strange, so I like what happened to BBS, and I'm really interested in seeing what they have with the uncut version, because some of the problems may have the camera. Maybe it's because it doesn't have the power of Jeff Johns yet, which we'll see in Wonder Woman. He's, he's working. Justice he's League. working. Don't worry. Yep. Uh, it's, the Warner Bros. I think is just, you know, terrible, and we're getting really into it now. If it's a trend, we're just going to have to head back towards Marvel. Uh, Netflix. 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 Netflix, I can move back towards that. You can. Sure. Let's get off that. So, let's talk about the uh, the character. First off, uh, Will Smith did a good dead shot, I think. Yes, yes he did. He did a great job. I knew he would be when they cast him. Although, like, it was just a stereotypical Will Smith role, but who doesn't like old school Will Smith? Will yeah. Smith is a great yeah. actor. And what about Harley Quinn? Harley Quinn. Margot Robbie. She did a great job uh, portraying her role as Harley Quinn, Zell. To go with here. Well, I think uh, the best way to talk about this is the fact that Paul Dini said that that uh, Margot Robbie and Jared Leto did the perfect Harley Quinn and Joker. And of course, Paul Dini is the one that created Harley Quinn in the animated series. Pop up a picture right now, and one right here too. Let's make it three. Okay, and uh, <laughs> and let's see, uh, Jay Courtney, Jai Court, Jai, Jai Courtney, it's a Jay. Okay, well, we'll put the spelling down right here. But it has a J in it. Okay. Uh, just the best acting he's ever done. Like, without a doubt, like, the dude's too done. No offense, Jack Courtney. I mean, you're my boy now, okay? But you had some terrible, you had some terrible movies. Like, but he did a great job as Captain Boomerang, and I'm so hyped about it. Great job. And I can't, and they did some more with him in like a Flash, Flash. movie. Great to see. The Rogues Gallery. The Rogues Gallery. Uh, I'd like to see them. Yep. yep. What else should we talk about? I think that the big... Okay, El Diablo. Yes, El Diablo. Uh, what's his name? James Hernandez, or something like that? Yes, Hernandez. He was... Thunder in the background, don't worry about Yeah, don't worry about it. Ignore the fact. But um, he was probably the most heroic. Just like I predicted in my blog, our blog, that he, like El Diablo is a character that often sacrifices himself, that's what happened in the 52, died in the first story, right away, there we go, sacrifice himself in his no spoilers, and, yeah, not really that big of a spoiler, but we're not spoiling it in the fact that it's pretty obvious that he's gonna die, but he did a great job uh, showing the battle between bad and evil, and he's trying to work himself back up to uh, proper mental state, I guess is the best way to say it, and uh, his powers are pretty awesome, all the visual effects oh. in this yeah, film was great. And the simple effects. And the simple effects. And the simple effects. <laughs> it, it, everything looked, it looked great. It was like, it's another comic book movie. It was just, you know, popcorn fun. Like, popcorn friendly. Yeah, it's popcorn. <laughs> Alright, uh, are we done with that one? Can we move on to some uh, more stuff? Should we talk about who got screwed over the most? Why not? It's 
specifically Katana and Killer Croc. I don't Can you stop? Please, let me do this. Man, I know. I know Adewale. Adewale Abjanuke or something like that. That's his name. And he played Killer Croc. He, he definitely did a good job uh, showing his monster side. I mean, they only made him look out to be a thug, which, you know, that's basically that's what he is. is. That's what he is. He's the muscle of the muscle. Yeah. And uh, he did a good job. I wish there was a little bit more of him. But, you know, he's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that was pretty funny. Um, and then Katana. She's a great character. Not many people know her. Unless you watch, if you watch Arrow, then you'll know who Katana is. Probably if you watch season three. And she, like, she's cool. She's a cool character. She felt so, she felt so underused. Just, you could have used it a little bit more, is all I'm saying. But maybe add some more to her origin, a little, like, a little bit of an origin there. That they did. Oh! We forgot the wall. Oh, Amanda Waller, Viola Davis. Jeez! That's a good showing of Viola Davis. Like, if you liked the preview 52 of Amanda Waller, you're gonna love her. And if you did, if you like the new 52 Amanda Waller, then you're sort of out of luck, but like, she's still the wall, okay? No one, she's, she's tough, she's bad. What else is there? Oh, um, I don't think it's fair, but let's talk about Jared Leto, it's Joker. Um, insane. He's not that insane. I think he's, he's, he's the early Joker that was insane, but still like insane. How does that work? That's, that's paradoxical. <laughs> so Good. he was his mob boss Joker, and I I think that everyone's most people are gonna like him. Now, if you could, I don't think it's fair to compare him to any of the others yet because we barely saw any of them. And I'm slightly disappointed. I'm excited to see him in more movies, specifically Batman. If they were to do that, show a picture right now. There you go. <laughs> what else we got? Yeah, okay. I thought we were still talking about. Okay, but you want to move on? Oh, unless Enchantress. you want to talk about Joker someone. Cut! Enchantress. <laughs> Come on! Go! Let's, let's talk about Enchantress. She did a good job. A little bit. Yeah. I like her. Yeah, I liked her too. Now, like, just for people knowing, this story was originally a Justice League Dark story. It's literally the first one that we did with Enchantress being the villain. So like, I called it at the beginning of my, on our blog that it's going to be very similar in the fact that she's the main bad guy, which she was. And they just fitted it so that Suicide Squad would work instead of Justice League Dark Force. But I think it worked well. Yep, man, it definitely did. Scott Eastwood. People were originally talking about him being Nightwing or Agent 37, if you will. And uh, hey, he, the people started, you know, like getting off that train. But it would definitely have been cool. I'm a big fan. Oh, of it would have been cool, but like, I don't think that it did that much. I mean, it would have made the movie like skyrocket amazingness. But it's a little bit right here. Yeah. Uh, GQ is cool. GQ signed on for four movies. I don't know what. Wait, what? Uh, yeah, that's another question. <laughs> Scott Eastwood is signed on for four movies. So you have to start thinking. You know what I'm talking about? Zoom in. Quiet. No, I was just kidding. Don't actually zoom in. <laughs> uh, do we have any other people that we should probably talk about? I mean, we're, we're missing someone. Rick Flag. Rick Flag? Yeah, Rick Flag is cool. Maybe he's a stereotypical soldier guy, okay? But, the, but we got a lot of a lot of scenes with him, a lot of emotion from him, which I liked. I mean, it's kind of cool. Okay, we'll talk about the cameos now. So we're heading to the spoiler turf a lot right now. So, just... My My flash alert. alert. Did you know that? Flash alert. Blood's coming to your area right now. Uh, so the Flash made a guest appearance, and it was also pretty cool to see. Oh, it was awesome to see. Not spoiling it. Him stopping a bank. Thank you, John. Uh, and also that one scene with uh, the Flash and it was also directed by Zack Snyder. Zack Snyder. Jack, Jack Courtney had no clue who he was he was uh, getting involved Stop by him. But um, it looked really good because of Zack Snyder. And just to see the Flash stop Captain Boomerang 
is one of the coolest things ever. Because he's one of the Flash's main villains. <laughs> Jack Courtney's face is hilarious. He does and a good job. And then let's go to the big shot there. Batman coming in with the de with uh, the stop dead shot. It's kind of cool. Then uh, hanging out with his daughter, and Batman just swoops in. I don't want to do this in front of your daughter, but you know, I'm going to beat you down. Which is what happened. Was there was a little bit more emotion like, there, but I, I, I sort of kind of overwhelming the actual intensity of that scene. Yeah. It, it's it's better than that, what I said. Mid credit scene now. Mid credit scene. Spoiler oh, if you haven't seen it. It'd be this way. It would come in this way, not that way. Can you stop? Okay. Mid credit scene. Mid credit. Yeah, there's no end credit. It's an end credit. No, it's a mid credit because it's before the main credit. Okay. So we get to see Amanda Waller and Ben Affleck. Bruce Wayne. I should, uh, I He's said not Ben Fleet. He's not Ben Affleck anymore. He's Bruce Wayne talking about uh, covering up the whole situation that happened in the film. We're not going to spoil what happened, but you know, it's destruction of a city. No, I think that's all the trailers, just, you know, the city got wrecked in. And basically, Amanda Waller wants to keep this all hidden down low, you know? So, she made a deal with Bruce Wayne, which, it makes a lot more sense now that the, the chips are Wayne Tech, because he's funding, like, to keep this all secret so that he can get the meta the known metahumans on Earth right now. Maybe not. Who else is in the book? We don't know. We only know three people are living in the book right now. We'll talk more about them. The blog. Back to you. Back, back to you. Our so. blog's right here. Stop it, okay? We're done with all the... You know how much this is gonna cost us? Twelve million dollars! Our sponsorship here of Seth and Wreck Entertainment. Okay. Thank you all for watching. I'm Wreck. This is Seth and I'm completely... I'm Rack. This I'm is Seth. Seven. Thank you for watching. Really, really, you're not gonna say it now. You're not gonna say it now. This is Seth and I'm Rack. Hey, I'm Seth. And we will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.